we will be going over how to tighten up the weld rollers. We're going to start with the bottom weld roller. As you see, there's quite a bit of play in mine. First thing I'm going to do is check these two brackets, bearing blocks here at the bottom. So what we're going to do is loosen these bolts on this bearing block on the front side and it's mirrored on the back side. So now it's all nice and loose. Um, to tighten it up, we're going to apply some pressure. I usually start with the outside. I'm going to lock this one down. Then I'm going to do the same on the back side. You can see barely any play in it. After making those adjustments and you still have play in your weld roller, we'll drop down to this cover plate. We will remove these set screws and pull this plate off. Now inside, you'll see another bearing block with four bolts. We will loosen all four and then we'll grab another long Allen wrench or any tool, stick it in there to apply tension to that bearing block. Then you tight down. So now we are going to tighten up the top roller. As you see, there's quite a bit of play. First thing I'm going to do is lower the weld rollers and the puller. That's important. It's going to give you the most access to our um, adjustment block. So first, I'm going to stick my wrench in here and I'm going to loosen the nut. And then, I'm going to screw it in just to where I feel a little bit of pressure while holding that nut so it doesn't lock down. So I just adjust it to where I felt some tension. I'm going to lock that nut back down. We're going to lift up the weld rollers. Tighten it a little bit, but let's go a little bit more. So I'm going to loosen. Screw that in a little bit further. And let's lock that nut down. As you see, much tighter. 